everyone. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. Today I am going to be unboxing my Ipsy Ultimate and my Ipsy Glam Bag. So the smallest and the largest box that Ipsy offers. These are my first Ipsies of 2020. I do have the Plus coming as well and I will do that video of the Ipsy Plus versus BoxyCharm later on. So for today, I am super excited to do these two Ipsy boxes. And once we finish unboxing everything, we will do a try on as well because my face desperately needs some love today. So I think we should go ahead and start with the glam bag since it is smaller. And so let's dive right on in. Also, quick side note, I'm trying to find the perfect place to film in our new apartment. This has been going on for quite a while now. And this seems like a good spot, and so I've added a little bit of decoration in to make it look nicer. However, this probably isn't permanent. I'm working on finding like a permanent solution. So let me know what y'all think about this particular setup. Oh, I've got an itch. Anyways, let me know about this particular setup. Let me know if you have any suggestions, if you'd like to see something different, and we will go from there, okay? So starting off with our Ipsy Glam Bag, it's a super cute little pouch bag. I like the pouch style a lot. It's a nice, it's not, it's more of like a rubbery feel than a plastic, but it's really cute. And, I'm really digging this pouch. I think this is going to end up being one of my travel pouches. So very first thing I'm pulling out of here is a nice tiny little product by Sela, Sela, C-E-L-A. It's Seed to Skin Scrub Natural Grain Polish. Interesting. It's very cute little packaging. I sometimes forget that the Ipsy Glam Bag products are so small because I've gotten so used to getting like the plus with the full size products and same with the BoxyCharm. So sometimes I open these and I'm like, what did they send me? But then I remember this is what they pretty much all used to be like. Isn't that crazy to think about? I'm thinking this is probably going to be my last Glam Bag for a while. I'm honestly just building up too much makeup, spending too much money on this stuff. There's another subscription that I'm thinking I might want to spend my $12 on instead. I'll definitely keep doing Ipsy. I'm just thinking this will be my last glam bag for a while. Anyways, I'm going to try to stop getting off on tangents. Last thing is I can tell that this is a little frozen from being out in my mailbox. Oops. That's what you get in wintertime. Okay, here is my card. It says Clean Slate. And I miss when they had like the cute little, I don't want to look at the products right now. They had the cute little cards with the sayings. I do miss that. I think that's something that Ipsy should bring back. Next thing I am pulling out is a Rosselia, a Rosselli, Aracelli. Maybe it's Aracelli. I'm not good at pronouncing things. It's a liquid eyeliner. It's kind of a matte finish and it actually the tip isn't very fine. I mean it's still pointy but it's not the smallest tip I've seen. So that'll be interesting. Next product is by Bella Pierre and it's lipstick in ruby. Oh boy. I'm wearing bright red today and now I have bright red lipstick. This might be interesting. It's very cute packaging. Oh yeah, look at that. Hey, it does kind of match though. I'm probably gonna try that on today during our try on and you all can see if I look terrifying along with me. Now I have a Pore Glow Mask Brighten and Glow by JJ Young. 
and it looks like my last product here is Too Faced After Using Hangover. Oh, so it's, I, I stopped at Hangover. Hangover RX is actually what it is. It's replenishing face primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, skin revivers. That's cool. Appearance of a full night's rest. I'm excited to get to try this. I feel like I'm really going to like this. And of course I do really like Too Faced. So overall, that was a decent little bag. Back when I first started Ipsy, when I was really just trying to try products, this would have been one of the perfect bags for me because it's got a little bit of everything. And that's just another reason why it's no longer a great bag for me, but it's still a great bag in general. And I'm really happy with this pouch. So this bag was worth it, especially just for this. Now we shall move on to the big one. So this is my second, oh, right here just keeps itching. <laughs> That's how my day is going. Anyways, this is my second Ipsy Ultimate. The first one I got, I really was not very impressed with. I don't know if you've watched that video. If you want to go back and check it out, I just felt like it really wasn't worth $50. You know, I get the Boxy Lux every quarter, and that is worth 50 Well, that's you spend $50, and it's worth way more. And I was expecting something more similar for the Ultimate. I know it's monthly, so it's going to be a little different than the quarterly box, but I just felt like it should have been curated better. So I'm really hoping that this one is better. I know that a lot of people have been really happy. Also, I'm sorry if you can hear my cat eating in the background. That's what those little noises are over there. Anyways, um, let's just dive on in and see what they've done for us. All right, so here is my little card. Set that aside. And the first thing I have to pull out is my bag, it looks like. Oh, and it's, so it's the same theme as the other one, but it's a bigger, uh, more like a travel case. It's, I would have expected this part to be a little bigger. It's very shallow. And then the top does have a little pouch here though. So this might not be the best for like a long travel, but it might be good for a quick little vacation or something. It's all misshapen. <laughs> here we go. Hopefully it won't be this difficult the next time around. So here's the full, full size. It's definitely not as big as I would have liked or would have thought. I probably would have preferred it to be about that big. Um, it's definitely really cute though, just like the pouch. It's that same kind of almost rubbery material, which is probably waterproof, which is nice. So overall a nice bag and potentially useful for me for traveling. It's very warm in here. Okay, next I am pulling out Essen Herb Tea Tree 90 Toner Pad. Said, when it says 90 toner pad, I was thinking there would be like 90 pads in here, but it does not feel like that. It seems like there's probably just a couple. It says um, remove one toner pad from packet, so there must be more than one in there. But that is kind of a bummer. In one of my FabFitFuns, I received like a whole big thing of them of different toner pads that I loved. So I would have really liked a big thing like that, but this is definitely a product that I'm excited to try. Next, I have Mark Anthony 100% Coconut Oil Leave-In Conditioner with Biotin. That's nice. I feel like I'm just, apparently I'm just in like a really negative mood today. I'm like, just want to complain about everything. <laughs> so 
my very first thought with this is like, I would have thought this would be bigger for a $50 box. BoxyCharm is really upping my standards for things because like I'm pretty sure BoxyCharm would have had this be like a full plus size product. And then just on a different level, I'm bummed that this doesn't have a heat protectant in it because I don't like to use a ton of products on my hair. So I really like when my leave-in conditioner has heat protectant built into it. Otherwise, nice little product. Next in here, I have Hey Honey, Take Away the Drama, Youth Boosting Honey and Copper Peel-Off Mask. Interesting. I like Hey Honey, and this looks like it actually is a full-size product because their samples are normally a lot smaller. So this is a 10 to 15 minute facial. So just, you know, you, the, you leave the mask on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you peel it off. Peel off masks scare me a little bit. I haven't really used them very often, but I do really like Hey Honey, so I bet this will be a decent product as well. This one is partially open. Deep Sleep Pillow Spray. Interesting. Fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed. I will definitely be giving this a try. Spray your pillow or bed cover before you go to sleep. I have not been sleeping well. Oh, and it's, oh, it's made in the UK. Hmm. I've not been sleeping well lately. It's like my brain just will not shut down. So maybe this will be a nice little addition for me to get to use. Next, it looks like I've got a brush. That's funny. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this is a nice little brush. It's a Fera brush, and it matches the bag and with the pink and then the marbled look to it. It's nice and soft. It looks like a little like a blush or highlighter brush. Ooh, yeah, that feels very nice. So that's very nice as well. Nice brush. Oh, this is tiny. Flesh, touch flesh highlighting balm. Hmm. Oh, okay. So it's just a little highlighter stick thing. That is, it does have a nice little like luminous highlight to it. So when we do the try on, I will give that a try as well. Ooh, this is a Tarte product, which as you all probably know, I love Tarte. Ooh. This is Easy on the Eyes Clay Liner. Yes, this is definitely going to be a product I'm very happy with. I love all of Tarte's products and I especially like self-sharpening eyeliner. Yeah, that's very nice. And I love the packaging. Their packaging is always adorable. This one it looks like is part of the Sugar Rush line. This is called Sweet Chef Kale and Vitamin B Serum Shot. Hmm. Sweet Chef mixes the perfect daily shot of vegetables and vitamins to freshly boost your skin's vitality and deliver a healthy radiance. Hmm. After cleansing and toning, apply on face with gentle tapping motion. This sounds cool. I always love skincare products. I love serums. I've noticed a huge difference in my face and my skin since I started using serums more. So I, I just love receiving them. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to make a mess if I keep that up. Hmm. It smells really good too. Ahava Time to Hydrate Essential Day Moisturizer. I'm losing my box. 
I think this is my third or fourth Ahava product and they've all been pretty nice. I like that I got a nice sized moisturizer. I also really like moisturizers, just like serums. I'll go ahead and not open it for now. I'll probably open it during the try on, we'll see. Mm -mm. Got a few more in here. This is two face masks by Avet Daily Fresh Squeeze. And it is all in something like Chinese or Korean or something that I cannot understand. Oh, this one is watery green grape. And this one is soothing lychee. I always like face masks though, so that's nice. Got two more products here. Mm. Ooh, this is cool. So this is by Foxy Bay, which I've seen their stuff a ton and I've always wanted to try it. And it looks like it's a, well it says right there, it's a mini travel flat iron. So I guess this is the product that ups the value of this box because I would probably don't think I would get something like this in a regular BoxyCharm, maybe in their quarterly one, which is the Boxy Lux. Um, this is awesome though. I don't straighten my hair a ton, but this is definitely a product I would like to have. My cat's getting into stuff over there. What's new? Um, in September, we're going on a cruise, and so this would be the perfect thing for me to take along. Oh, wow, it's tiny. <laughs> I guess that's why it's a travel mini size. That is super cool. Hmm. So I also just got some other new hair products for Christmas, hair styling stuff. I will have to show you guys in another video, I suppose, because that's not what this video is about. But I digress. Um, that's pretty cool. I will give them kudos for this product. That is very cool. So my last product looks like a palette. Meet Matte Trimony. Trimony? I'm not sure if it's Trimony or Trimony. Marriage Material. And I'm pretty sure this is the Balm, yep, the Balm Cosmetics. I could tell by the packaging. I've gotten several of their individual eyeshadows, but this is the first like palette I've gotten from them. And tr true to its name, it is all mattes. They are all mattes, but they're very pretty. I tend to prefer to use shimmery eyeshadows, so I'll probably end up like adding another palette with shimmers with this one. But those are all really pretty colors that I would probably use as bases both as like my light base and my dark base. They're all mattes. Matt Lynn, Matt Thomas, Matt Rossi, Matt Lopez, Matt Kumar, Matt Moskowitz, Matt Evans, Matt Reed, Matt oh, Ahmed. <laughs> Too funny. Okay, so those were all of my products from the Ultimate and the Glam Bag. So I'm going to go ahead and do the try on now. There's a lot of products I'm excited to try and then we can go on and have a wonderful rest of our day. Okay. So I will be back in just a moment to do the try on. All right. And before we actually start trying on products, a quick recap of what I won't be trying on. Face mask, deep sleep pillow spray, peel off mask, leave-in conditioner, and another mask. I think I will be trying on all the rest though. This one. Also won't be trying this scrub right now. I do want to open it and smell it though now that it's had a chance to thaw a little. Mmm, it smells really good. Yum. So first things first, skincare. So I'm going to try one of these SN Herb toner pads. I finally get to see how many are actually in here. Oh, a few. No. I just, 
I just dumped this stuff all over my lap. Oh no. Oh goodness. Please do not do that. So, round two. Okay, so this is how many is in here. I'm really terrified now. I definitely wish we had gotten a full pack of these because these are really cool. However, um, well, I didn't seem to dump it all out. Okay. They smell really good. So I really like how they smell. I really like how it's kind of rough, so it's helping exfoliate your skin while you're rubbing them. Um, I feel like some of the other pads that I've used have left my face feeling a little more clean, but these are just toning pads, so they're not necessarily there to help actually clean your face. Next, I'm going to try this serum. See how much of a mess we can make with this one. I love the smell of this product. It's almost got kind of a menthol-y smell to it. I don't know. I like it though. I don't know where I'm putting stuff here. My last two skincare items are the primer and the moisturizer. I never remember what order you're supposed to do everything, but I'm pretty sure the moisturizer and then the primer. Because the primer is just supposed to be before your makeup, right? I don't know. <laughs> Everything is so cold from having been out in my mailbox. Ooh, burr. This is a really nice, soft, smooth moisturizer. I really like how it's soaking into my skin. Feels very nice, not greasy at all. The smell almost reminds me of like baby lotion. I really like it. Oh, it's sourced from the wondrous Dead Sea waters. That's cool. All right, so my last one here is going to be this Too Faced Hangover RX. While I'm not hungover, my eye circles are dreadful, and so maybe this will help a little bit with that. <laughs> This also smells good. I wish this was bigger. I'm really happy with how this one feels as well. It really feels like it's soaking in well. It went over the other products really well, but it doesn't feel like my face is just covered in junk. Like I'm really happy with all of these products and the way they've gone on. They feel really good. Okie dokie, base makeup is on. Um, so now I'm going to use my new brush to put my blush on. Brush and blush. Hmm. Okay, I'm feeling like this is not going to be a good blush brush because it's not big enough for how I like to apply my blush. I'm thinking this is going to be more of like a highlighter-y brush. Or contouring, maybe? There we go. I do really like this brush though. Anyways, let's give this a try. Oh, geez. I smushed it. Way to go, Megan. Had it one day. 
All right, so I'm just going to try to like, there we go. Okay, well, I got a ton on my finger. So now I'm going to just try to like, I think I want to do it underneath. Hmm. This has an interesting feel. It's very sticky. I've never really used this kind of highlighter before. I can't even tell. Can you see it? All right, moving on. That was a disaster. <laughs> Sometimes I just am like, I should not try new things. But that's the whole point of me doing this kind of stuff is so I can try new things. Okay, so that leaves us with our eyeliners, eyeshadow, and lipstick for try on. And so next we will do our eyeshadow. And I'm gonna go ahead and just try to do a look without a shimmer and just see how it goes. Um, I always just use my fingers for putting eyeshadow on, so we'll see what happens. Let's see, I guess since I'm wearing red, uh, maybe I'll do kind of more of like a red toned look. So maybe I'll try just these three in the middle here. It looks like they go together. So I'll put this pink on first. So it's coming off of the palette really well onto my finger, but then I feel like it's not spreading onto my eyelid as well as it could. So this is probably one that would be better used with a brush instead of a finger. Okay, so there's the base pink I've got on there. Next, I will throw in some of this Red, it's more of like a maroon. Let's do that on like half of my eyelid. I guess I'm doing more like three quarters. I'm just not going all the way down into my eyelid corner. back in my corners. Well, it's not fantastic, but it's coming along okay. that I'm going with for that. I feel like they went on really well. Um, next time I'm definitely going to try putting them on with a brush and I think that will help a lot. Next it's time to decide which eyeliner to try. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Tarte and I'm going to save this liquid liner because I rarely ever use liquid liners so I don't want to try this one on or open it. Maybe it'll be part of a giveaway that may or may not be coming soon. It's amazing how one tiny little slip of the hand means you get to do much thicker eyeliner all of a sudden. Um, it went on really smooth, went on almost a little too well because just a tiny slip of the hand and bam, I'm filling in a whole bunch more. But it's nice and it's tart, so are we surprised? No. All right, let me throw my mascara on really quick after I readjust my legs. All right, so we've got a full eye look done here, which means last thing we need to do, besides fix our hair, is try that red lipstick on. Yikes. I'm scared. I'm scared. Well, 
Well, for one, this would look a lot better if my lips weren't so freaking dry. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I think this is actually a good color for me. It's been so long since I've used a legitimate lipstick like this, and so I'm actually really impressed with the way it went on. Again, it would be better if my lips weren't so dry, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. Hmm. Lipstick is just so weird to me though. Like I do much better with like a liquid lip because I feel like I have more control over it. I don't know why. You should let me know your th your thoughts in the comments on lipstick. I was gonna say your comments, but I want you to put your thoughts in the comments. Okay, so this is my final look for today for Ipsy Ultimate and Ipsy Glam Bag. I was gonna attempt to use this as well, but I'm just too scared to do it right now. So that is going to have to wait for another time. I have another video idea for that, which might work anyways. And so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me today. I would love if you would like, comment, subscribe especially, and let me know what you thought of my boxes. Let me know what you thought of any boxes you got. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you.